What if I told you the age of batteries as we know them is already over? For decades, the lithium-ion cell has ruled our devices, cars, and even our grid, a silent king powering civilization. But every empire falls, and this one has cracks you can't ignore. Fires that spread like wildfire. Mines are tearing apart landscapes. Supply chains choked by politics. Lithium was supposed to free us, yet it's become another chain around humanity's neck. Now imagine a future where your car never waits at a charger, where energy bursts like lightning, fills a cell instantly, and lasts for years without decay. Sounds impossible? That's exactly what scientists thought, until whispers began of a forbidden breakthrough. A discovery so shocking, so disruptive, that even oil executives are losing sleep at night. This isn't science fiction, it's already here. And it begins with a name, Quantum Burst Discharge. Lithium was once hailed as the miracle element. Small, light, and capable of storing far more energy than lead acid or nickel-based batteries ever could. It powered the smartphone revolution, and later, the first wave of electric cars. Without it, Tesla wouldn't exist, nor would the dream of breaking oil's grip. But every miracle has a curse. Lithium is scarce, its mining is toxic, and its refinement is energy hungry. Prices swing wildly, leaving automakers exposed to markets they can't control. Worse, lithium batteries degrade. A brand new EV slowly loses range year after year until its once glorious promise shrinks. And when they burn, they burn with a fury almost impossible to stop. For years, debates raged. Should humanity double down on lithium or gamble on alternatives? Solid state, hydrogen, supercapacitors, each promised salvation, yet fell short. The world waited, and then something truly alien emerged. It began quietly, buried in obscure physics journals. A new way of storing and releasing energy, not through slow chemical reactions like lithium, but through the controlled collapse of quantum states. Researchers called it quantum burst discharge, a name that barely captures the violence and elegance inside. Instead of shuttling ions back and forth, QBD traps energy in a lattice of exotic materials. When triggered, those bonds release their charge in an instant, not minutes, not seconds, but microseconds. Imagine plugging in a car and watching the battery leap from empty to full before you've even turned around. Early tests were dismissed as fantasy, but the prototypes kept proving themselves. No degradation after thousands of cycles, no risk of thermal runaway, and unlike lithium, the base materials are abundant. Aluminum, carbon composites, and engineered polymers that anyone can produce. Engineers describe it as lightning in a box. The amount of power that can surge through QBD is orders of magnitude higher than that of lithium. Suddenly, an electric motor isn't limited by the trickle of a fragile battery. It's fed by a torrent of energy, almost limitless in practical terms. The chemical storage age is dying. What replaces it is something closer to controlled storms, captured, harnessed, and waiting to be unleashed. Performance was always the battleground. Gasoline engines roared with raw power, while early EVS whispered along, efficient but tame. Lithium closed that gap, barely. But quantum burst discharge doesn't just close it, it obliterates it. Picture a car that launches from zero to 60 in under a second, not because of clever traction control, but because energy floods the motors faster than tires can grip asphalt. Imagine trucks hauling 40 tons uphill without strain, ships crossing oceans without refueling, planes lifting off silently with reserves that never fade. QBD makes horsepower almost meaningless. The old limits, torque curves, fuel efficiency, 
and heat management vanish. With instantaneous discharge, motors can draw precisely what they need, when they need it, without loss. The only bottleneck left is human reflex. For the first time, electricity doesn't just rival combustion, it surpasses it in every dimension. And that's where Tesla enters the story, quietly preparing a project that could flip the auto world on its head. Tesla knew the whispers. Rumors of QBD were spreading through labs, think tanks, and defense contractors. But while others debated, Tesla acted. Inside Gigafactories, a project took shape under the code name Redwood. At its heart was the long-awaited Model 2, a car meant to be cheap enough for the masses, but with something far more explosive hidden beneath its floor. Insiders claim Redwood isn't just another EV. It's the first production vehicle designed around quantum burst discharge. No more lithium packs stacked like fragile bricks. Instead, a slim, flexible energy slab is woven into the chassis itself. It charges instantly, never fades, and delivers more range than any gas tank. Why Redwood? Because just like the towering trees, it's built to last for centuries, a symbol of permanence. Elon's promise of a $25,000 Tesla suddenly makes sense. With QBD, cost plummets, performance skyrockets, and barriers that once defined the EV market simply vanish. And if Redwood succeeds, it won't just sell cars, it will rewrite the global energy map. For over a century, energy was power, literally and politically. Oil-rich nations rose to dominance, wars were fought, empires bankrolled, and economies bent to the rhythm of black crude. Even lithium began following the same path, concentrated in a handful of regions, vulnerable to price shocks and political games. Quantum burst discharge flips the table. Its core ingredients aren't locked in deserts or mountains guarded by unstable governments. They're everywhere, aluminum in the soil beneath our feet, carbon harvested from the air, polymers crafted in standard factories. Suddenly, energy is scarce. It's universal. That means older players lose leverage. OPEC's grip weakens. Lithium giants face collapse. Entire economies built on exporting fossil fuels or rare minerals will scramble for survival. Meanwhile, countries that once lagged can leap forward, building QBD factories with resources already in their backyards. And Tesla? Redwood holds the match that could ignite this transformation. By delivering a mass-market car cheaper than any lithium competitor, it forces the world's automakers into a corner. Compete on QBD, or die trying. What happens when energy abundance isn't just possible, but inevitable? We're about to find out. And the shockwaves won't stop at cars. They'll ripple through every machine, every industry, every government. The global chessboard is being flipped, and no one knows who wins. If there's one fear that killed the EV dream again and again, it was charging. Long waits at roadside stations, broken chargers, anxiety creeping in as the battery bar fell lower and lower. People wanted freedom, not a ticking countdown. Quantum burst discharge vaporizes that fear. Forget waiting half an hour for a fast charge. QBD doesn't trickle electrons, it unleashes them in a storm. Full power delivered in a flash. For drivers, that means pulling over, plugging in and leaving almost immediately, as if they'd just filled a gas tank. Even better, QBD cells don't degrade with rapid charging. What kills lithium only makes QBD laugh. Endless cycles, endless bursts, with no drop in range. Suddenly, the infrastructure problem looks different. Instead of vast networks of chargers, a handful of ultra-high output stations can handle millions of cars without strain. The myth is dead. The barrier is gone. 
and what's left is the pure, unstoppable convenience of electric freedom. The first wave is cars, but QBD's true power goes far beyond roads. Think of every vehicle as a mobile powerhouse. A truck parked overnight could feed a city block. A fleet of buses could stabilize an entire grid. Even ships at harbor could offload stored energy, turning ports into living batteries. Because quantum burst discharge isn't just about storage, it's about instant transfer. Energy flows in and out without loss, without delay. That means your car isn't just transportation, it's infrastructure. Imagine disasters where blackouts once crippled communities. With QBD, survivors don't wait for generators. They drive electricity to where it's needed most. The age of passive vehicles ends, machines become active arteries of power itself. Tesla's bet isn't just Redwood, it's Giga Mexico, a factory designed not as a plant, but as a hive. Insiders describe it as a new blueprint, modular, endlessly expandable, connected to a global web of QBD production. Mexico's location is no accident. Close to US markets, rich in labor, and outside the chokehold of lithium supply chains. It positions Tesla at the center of a new industrial map, one where QBD flows like data, manufactured anywhere, shipped everywhere. The vision? A planetary hive of energy nodes, each factory humming with the same purpose. When one surges, another balances. A grid not built by governments, but by machines, feeding on abundance. And it all starts in Mexico's desert heat. History will look back at this moment as the funeral of two giants. Combustion, once the heartbeat of progress, fades into relic status. Lithium, the so-called bridge to the future, becomes obsolete before it ever fully rules, both toppled by a force that seemed to come from nowhere. Quantum burst discharge. What happens when gas stations close not from regulation, but irrelevance? When lithium mines shut down because no one buys their product? The energy order doesn't just shift, it collapses. And the sound of that collapse will echo across industries, across nations, across time itself. Humanity doesn't crawl toward the future anymore. With QBD, it leaps. The combustion age ends not with a roar, but with silence. So here we stand, staring at the horizon of a world we barely recognize. The machines that carried us through the industrial age are dying, replaced by something stranger, sharper, faster, Quantum burst discharge is no longer a rumor. It's the spark of a new epoch. But here's the haunting question. What happens when power itself becomes limitless? When energy is no longer bound by scarcity, but only by imagination? Every empire, every invention, every war in history was shaped by energy. Now, humanity holds lightning in its hands. The only mystery left is, what will we do with it?